What is up guys, Brandon here, how you doing? And as you well know, I like to search the internet for terrible, retro, weird, just general crap. And I found this. And I'm actually quite intrigued with what it has to offer. On Alibaba it was sold as the Xbox One X. Um, it's definitely not, it has a PlayStation controller. So this is like the 30 pound fake Xbox One X that I wanna unbox and share with you. It's got like HDMI output, 600 retro games in one. So I'm intrigued if it works and how well it works. So let's unbox it and I'll show you how it looks when it's on. So taking a closer look at the packaging, this is made by a company called X Game, and it has apparently 601, which I'm guessing that's games, HDMI in, which is quite surprising actually. You have some options on the controller there, which are pretty similar to PlayStation. Uh, I don't know if that means we get two controllers or like I, I don't really know. HDMI, you get your, your old school TV cable and then your power supply as well, and then just X Game. And then a couple of stuff on here saying that it supports arcade games from Game Boy Advance, SFC, Sega, NES, and an ultra large capacity TF card and HD video. So let's open it up, see what's actually inside. And I just, I'm just looking forward to seeing if, wait, okay, seeing if it actually works. So, okay, we're greeted with the Xbox here and. Let's put that aside, see what else is in the box quickly. Now this packaging, I hope it doesn't resemble the quality of the product. Okay, so you get two controllers here. Oh man, look at that. Transparent, it feels like a Kinder Egg. Oh boy, this is some, this is some cheap stuff right now. And it's USB, which might be, so it's got A, B, C, D as well. Oh wow. And what are the top? Just one, two, one, two. So, okay, no L or R on it. Um, let's put that to the side. Another one here, I'm guessing this is exactly the same. Yep. Like, I could probably like, oh, that's not even the buns. That's the back of the controller. Oh man. And then you get your adapters, your HDMI cable, which would actually come in handy and Wait, the power supply? It's via USB? Okay. That doesn't sound safe at all. Um, we won't be needing that one as well. And some instructions which we can put to the side as well. So let's take a look at the console. Oh man. This is extremely light as well. Oh boy, look at the front of that. Now it kind of does resemble the Xbox. You've got the disc tray here which has no disc. I'm th is that a sticker? I actually think that's a stick. I'm just gonna... Oh wow, look at that. And does that come... Oh yeah, okay. So that's... Oh god, I want to put that back on. Just a... Just a... But yeah, that was pretty much a sticker just in a groove there. So... Premium quality on the bottom, like... You can, you can hear the quality. I can literally pick this up with like two fingers. Like it's incredibly light. It's almost... It's probably the same weight as both of those controllers there. You've got the grill on the front, which I'm guessing is for airflow, and I'm hoping that's not a speaker. Then on the back, your HDMI, your TF, which is like your uh, SD card, so if you want to put some like ROMs and stuff on here, I guess you can, or some hacked games, um, you can do so. So uh, let's plug this in and see what it's all about. Okay, so I just plugged the Xbox into my iPhone charger because I didn't have an adapter and this whole menu popped up so it seems to be working fine at this moment in time. And I apologize for this terrible layout of video and the quality, my chair is going to be squeaking as well. But this is what you'll get when you turn on your fake Xbox. So you have Neo Geo games, Game Boy Advance, SNES, Sega Mega Drive, and your classic NES. So let's take a quick look at some of the games in the Neo Geo. Uh, Goal, Neo Drift, Double Dragon Advance, Captain Commando, Super Street Fighter. And if we go up, let's see how many games they have in this. Okay, so they have 113 games uh, from what they say. I'm not gonna test them all out. Now if we go back, let's take a look at the Game Boy Advance. Oh my god, they have Fire Red. 
They've got Leaf Green as well, holy shit. Crash Bandicoot, uh, Mario Kart, Yoshi, Kirby, wow. Okay, and how many games do they have in total? Um, 140, okay, makes sense. We're coming up to a halfway. The SNES, Super Mario, Bomberman, Ninja Turtles. I dig it, I dig it. And if we go up, they've got 60 there, okay. A little bit less than the previous modes. Uh, Sega Mega Drive, Sonic. Wait, what? Pocket Monster. That's going to be completely fake. Uh, Gunstar Super Heroes. How many games do they have in total? So the menu is like pretty simple. Um, nothing major. Uh, the menu isn't stretched at all, but this is a 4K monitor, so it's going to be pretty pixelated. Uh, and then your NES games as well. Okay, all the, the classics. That's awesome. Tons of Super Mario. And they have 154 games. So I need to try out that Pokemon Fire Red at the moment. And um, let's take a look and see if it actually works. I'm going to be impressed if it does. Now, I've read that you're going to need an SD card, I think, to actually have saved games on here. Um, but I may be wrong. It might not work. I'll let you know on Twitter. Um, if I can't save through this, but I'm gonna guess that you you can't let's let's Start now this controller it, it works, but it's very very light. I could definitely twist it and crack it It's got that cheap plastic feel, but it, it works, you know the Analog sticks are pretty stiff and clicky um, But if you can use them in game, that's gonna be really cool and just seeing this is really weird, Pokemon on a console, like I've never done that before, I've ran it on a couple of like uh, Android phone emulators, Mac emulators, but never on like a console and a screen and a PlayStation controller at that matter. Um, so this is really weird. I guess this is almost what this, when it comes to the Switch, it's going to feel like. Um, but let's skip through all this and see if we can pick up my first Pokemon. Hey Gramps, no fear, what about me? Piss off, Gary. I'm going first and I'm going to choose Squirtle. Oh yeah. We saw my live stream a couple of days ago. We also picked uh, Squirtle as well. He is the best starter, without a doubt. Let me know what guy, uh, what Pokemon you'd pick or have picked before as your starter. No nickname. So let's see if Gary wants to fight. This is crazy. I'm loving this. Now, I'm going to be very disappointed if it doesn't save the game, um, which a lot of these fake consoles and emulators, uh, they don't let you do, unfortunately. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. Alright, so let's save. Save. Three minutes. Sometimes it will say it doesn't save there, which is a little weird. Um, okay. Now, I don't think there's any way of getting back to the menu without pressing the reset button, so I might have to do that. Okay, let's uh, reset. Pokemon Fire Red, GBA, and my bet is that it doesn't load the save and just goes straight into a reset. That might be because I need an SD card for extra memory, um, but we'll we'll see. No. Okay, so it's going back into the tutorial, which is slightly depressing. Um, so yeah, let's try another game. So let's head over to the Sega Mega Drive here. The Sega Mega Drive. What, let's try the Sonic 3D. A classic. Green Grove. Okay. So oh wow. Pew. Seems to be working, but this definitely put frame rate's quite low, but it's playable. So that's Sonic the Hedgehog there, 3D. Should we try out a classic Super Mario World, see how that looks? Okay, so these kind of games, the 2D low powered games are definitely going to play a lot better than that 3D Sonic there because I don't think this generally has a lot of power. Let's go. Oh yeah. Now already this is playing a lot smoother than the Sonic 3D version. Um, obviously less processing power etc but 
he can eat all of these apples. Pow. Pow. So there you have it guys, a quick look at the fake Xbox One X from Alibaba. Like I'm kind of impressed, like it's 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 fun to have all these emulators um, on a console that you can uh, put onto your TV screen. It's a shame that I can't really solve the saving problem at the moment, um, but if I do I'll let you know on Twitter. Um, but yeah, I'm actually digging it for like 30 quid. You could, I've bought a lot worse things in my time and you have 600 games in a console which you can play on a shitty PlayStation controller. So there you have it, thanks for watching, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video with another crazy product.